audience, dear staff, thank you for such an incredible evening. Um, when if not today, we will have such an incredible opportunity to meet representatives of Central Asian countries in its full content and hopefully learn a little bit more about our cultures and most impo importantly eliminate this common confusion and mis uh, widely spread misunderstanding, misinterpretation, I would say, of the names of our countries. So please meet uh, representatives of Central Asian countries. First goes Tajikistan. <laughs> Kyrgyzstan. <laughs> Kazakhstan. <laughs> Turkmenistan. Thank you very much. Um, we would each of us give a little bit, a little presentation about our countries, and hopefully leave a little time for uh, entertainment. Uh, I would, I would be first talking about my country. Uh, my country is Uzbekistan, and our capital is Tashkent. Tashkent is the third uh, most. The, the, the city, uh, the biggest population in the former Soviet Union after Moscow and Kiev. Uh, Uzbek people uh, uh, became an ethnic, ethnic group in the 16th century. Uh, the, the main <laughs> culture, the main cultural aspect of our country, uh, of Uzbek people, is uh, hospitality, our hus hospitality. I'll give you one example from our, from the, uh, I don't think it happened these days, but about two centuries ago, uh, any traveler who would pass Uzbek land and his path, uh, who is traveling through Uzbek land could knock a door of any Uzbek people and Uzbek people opening the door would not even ask who he, his name. They would welcome him in the house, uh, sit him at the table, pour him a glass of, uh, actually we have a special tea, tea balls, a ball of tea and well, welcome him, ask how he is doing, offer him a shelter, uh, a bed if he wants to sleep over and then so he can continue his traveling. So this is one of the most, uh, one of the famous features of Uzbek culture. And I, I would conclude my presentation um, with the top things to visit, to, to see when you come to Uzbekistan. First thing, whenever, if you ever come to Uzbekistan, to see is, please see me, Raksha. <laughs> I promise you a great time, unforgettable time in my country, and I would be very, very, uh, thanks for uh, Then, three more things, four more things to see. It's our ancient cities, uh, cities monuments. It's Tashkent, Bukhara, Hiva, and Samarkand. We see a lot of uh, castles in Prague. They're very beautiful. Our countries have also castles, but these castles are, are very Eastern, very different, and we call it Pearl of East. Uh, now I'm going to pass the word to Tajikistan, please. As we know, we have already made our economic presentation and have already told it a little about Wikitree. And today I have brought with me a traditional dress which is called Atlas. Um, before I used to call Atlas because of course it was made out of 100% silk. And then I have brought my flag with me which means, red color means peace and white that means cotton that we have the main industry. And then the green that means the evergreen nation of culture of Tajikistan. Of course, we have a lot of places as Uzbekistan, as these all wonderful countries in Central Asia, a lot of places to visit. And then um, you're always welcome to visit, of course, first me, and then I'll show you the rest of the country, of course, and then I'll tell you where to go, and I, I can also take you. So I'm going to pass my words to my colleagues. Thank you. Thank you. I'm from Kyrgyzstan, my name is Alambet. Uh, I know you guys are doing pretty good saying my name because it's really... It's, <laughs> my name is pretty rare in Kyrgyzstan too and people can't remember it for the first time. Um, well, I wanted to clear up this, not this confusion about Kyrgyzstan. Stands, stands, all these stands. People don't know which stand you're from. Uh, actually, the first thing you need to remember is the first, the first part. And the stand, you just... I have to remember. Nice. Yeah, uh, Stan uh, in Turkic language means country. Uh, you see the same things like Deutschland, Netherlands, 
Oh, there's land. Uh, oh, gosh. I want to say that Kyrgyzstan is a very ancient country. Um, our first city, our oldest city, is 3,000 years old and it still exists right now. Um, uh, our country is very beautiful, very mountainous, and we have the second highest mountain in the world. So if you guys like to climb mountains, <laughs> uh, we also uh, we also have a lot of we have a significant minority of Russians, uh, Ukrainians, Uzbeks, <laughs> Uzbeks, and even we have uh, that too. <laughs> we also have I have a big uh, minority of uh, Germans. <laughs> uh, what else I want to tell you is about our um, traditions. We have some traditions, but they don't exist throughout the country anymore. We used to have a, a tradition where you could steal a bribe without asking her parents. <laughs> yeah, you can steal and. Kyrgyzstan is also a Muslim country, so you can uh, steal up to four wives if you want to. <laughs> uh, I want to talk about alcohol in our country. We have this alcohol in our country, it's unusual, it's very unique. It's made up from uh, fermented horse milk. You guys get pretty drunk if you drink like half a liter of it. Okay, so I'm gonna pass the microphone to Kazakhstan. Good evening. Today I would like to tell you some brief facts about Kazakhstan culture and history. So Kazakh as a state appeared in 1470 and it is believed that Kazakh people are originated from three major ethnogenic groups. These are Iranians, Mongol and Turkish. Uh, main occupation of Kazakh people used to be um, livestock breeding uh, with uh, some pasturing, seasonal pasturing, and, um, uh, which is actually reflected in some of the national emblems. For instance, this is Kazakh national music dom instrument dombra, and you can see this ornament which is symbolized <laughs> horns of the livestock. So, um, I would like to tell you something about Kazakh beliefs. Uh, Kazakh believe that if right eye reaches, then it's for good luck. And if left eye reaches, it's for the trouble. Uh -huh. Kazakh also believe that Wednesday is a good day for any new undertaking and for traveling. Uh, three major Kazakh holidays are Nauris, which is Kazakh New Year. It is celebrated on 21st of March. Uh, Kurban Ayat, which is a sacrifice, and uh, Oraza Ayat, which is celebrated after 30 days of fasting. So I would like to tell you briefly about Nauris. Nauris is a celebration of spring. Uh, and Kazakh believe the more you are in celebration of this holiday, the uh, more prosperous will be the year to come. Uh, Kazakh also believe in three, uh, three wells. The first wells is Densolek, which is house. Second house is Agjolek, or uh, wife or spouse. And the third wells is Onjolek, which is sheep or livestock. Um,